special about it. You obviously, I mean, when I walked up, you probably were like, that's definitely one of the pros' little brothers. I mean, it's, you know, I don't look as big as Chris Fiore. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest guy, I'm not the fastest guy, but I'm real good with my stick. And that's a pretty unique thing about the game of lacrosse. As long as you're good with your stick, you know, you're knowledgeable about the game, you can get away with being smaller, a little slower, right? Not as strong. It's good to have all those attributes, but, um, you know, if you're good with your stick, you can be a good lacrosse player. Um, for me, being a good lacrosse player comes from playing on the wall. It really does. I think. I got Having a plan to achieve your goal. I said, what do you want to do next year? I said, well, Ryan, I want to be an All-American. That's a great goal. I said, I want to win a national championship. Another great goal. And I said, also, if I ever had the opportunity in the national championship again, to stick some goals, I don't want to make the mistake, all right, of dropping a ball. Those are my three goals. I said, all right, you set those goals. How are you going to achieve those goals? And one thing I knew that I had to do wasn't about getting in the weight room for me, wasn't about getting on the track, it was about making sure that I could catch and throw anything that came near me. If it was at my toes, I was able to catch it. All right, over my head, I was able to catch it. 30 yard passes, I was able to throw. How was I going to do that? I was going to get to the wall. And I was going to dedicate time to the wall to become a better lacrosse player. So I did that all fall. Started going into January, doing it all through January, February, March. First game of the year, wind up beating the number one team in the nation, become number one. After practice, I'd be on the wall, going 100 righty, 100 lefty next to a little kid named Timmy. Well, guess where Timmy plays lacrosse right now? Anybody? Syracuse University, all right? Little 11 year old, 12 year old kid on the wall throwing with me after practice. <laughs> Just a little story I like to tell about what the wall's done for me. And now I'm going to go over a little routine that I like to do on the wall. All right? When you go to the wall, you have to work hard. All right? You can't just go to the wall, throw bad passes, kind of sit here, and go through the motions. All right? You have to do everything like you do it in the game. So what I like to do when I get to the wall is I line up sideways to the wall. I look at the wall and I begin to throw. A lot of you younger guys, all right, will go up to a wall and you'll bounce the ball. All right, why don't we want to throw up the wall and throw bounce passes? Anybody? You don't do that in the game? Yeah, you don't do it in the game. Same thing as if you go up to the wall, you throw it, and you let it bounce. No reason to practice it, you don't do it in the game. All right, you want to do everything on the wall that you do in the game. Big problem for you younger guys, especially on, on a brick wall. You go up to the wall, you throw it, and pass the flow. It goes behind you, you got to go chase it, you come back, Throw it against the wall and pass is high. A great way to look, when you first get to the wall is you have to learn how the ball bounces off the wall. All right? So I get real close to the wall. Get my foot in, point it at the target. My hand about halfway up my stick. And I simply throw it nice and light off the wall high. And I just work on catching the ball with soft hands. When I release the ball and I go to catch it, the head of my stick front of my butt end. When I catch the ball, the butt end should be ahead of the plastic. Does that all make sense? All right, so I'm going to catch the ball. I have my target out here. When I catch it, my butt end is ahead of my plastic. That's having soft hands to catch the ball behind you here. So nice and soft, close to the wall, soft hands. We're just throwing this nice and soft, learning how the ball bounces, little quick sticks, pushing with our top hand, pulling down with our bottom hand. I do this, and I go through. And I talk about goal setting, all right? You should set goals for yourself, whether you start off with 10, 20. For me, it's like 100. If you drop the ball in the 19th one, and you're supposed to do 20, get back and do it again. You're only cheating yourself. Everything I do righty, I do lefty. So again, I'm sideways. I'm stepping with my opposite foot. Nice and soft, soft hands, soft hands. Right here, all right? Soft hands, soft hands. All right, I got quick sticks close to the wall, right-handed and left-handed. I start to understand how the ball bounces. Now I can go one-handed. Now I can go one-handed. All right? So I go one-handed. All right, what this will do is this will teach you not to throw a sidearm. All right? So all I do is I look at the wall and I snap it off one-handed. You can catch it with two hands, it's easy for you. All right, working up throwing overhand one-handed. All right, everything I do righty, all 
Alright, I come back and I do it lefty. Getting goals for myself. One handed. You guys may think I'm crazy. You guys can do this one handed. Alright? The so quick sticks close to the wall, one handed. Now I back up a little bit and I do quick sticks. Okay, so it just means the off hand, bringing it in and releasing it a little further away. And I, I get going a little quicker. Right here. Trying to hit that same spot, trying to get bounced. Throwing it hard enough to bounce it right back into the box. We talked about the box before. Yeah. Right, so I'm right here. Okay. Okay, to righty. Right, I got to do lefty. Body sideways, stepping towards the target. Right here. The ball's going high, move your feet. All right? The ball's low, bend down to get it. You want to try and catch everything behind your ear. The quick sticks close to the wall, one-handed. Quick sticks away from the wall. Next thing I like to do is probably the most important thing. And all it is, catching, cradling, and moving the ball. So I look at my target, I'm going to kick up, one end, point at the target, that's where the ball's going to go. I catch it, take one little cradle and move it. So right here, catch, cradle, and move it. As you get better, you can go quicker. You want to get back to the same spot every single time. Every single time, step in, moving towards the target, soft hand. Everything going to be righty. Come back, and I have to do it lefty. Same thing every single time. Something I like to practice. How many times a game are there bad passes? A lot. I hope, all, yeah, all the time. Well, guess what? I play professional lacrosse. There's bad passes in our game all the time, too. So I practice it. And this is the only time you should really have your hips lined up to the wall. What you're doing, to my right hand, we're aiming at a spot to the left and we're throwing it across, moving our body to catch the ball. Guys, this is one of the toughest things to do when you're young. Alright? Whenever you're having problems catching the ball, get your hand up near the plastic. Alright? Your hands are down here, the space right here is room for error. This is where you make mistakes. Especially on bad passes. What guys like to do is windshield wipe and come across and get their arms twisted up. All it is on a bad pass is we cradle our stick Cross. All right, same thing as if you little guys are doing face dodge. Cradle your stick across. All right, so right here, we catch it. My hands all the way up near the plastic. All right, not leaving room for error. And I bring it back to my ear. So I practice that pass. Right here. They move it. All right, everything I do righty. I obviously have to do lefty. Bad pass. Just high. Move my feet. All right. Those are things you guys should do. Some of the other things I do, I practice behind the back. Why not? I'm going to do it in days some time and might as well have it practice. All right? Behind the back is a lot easier than you think. Instead of having your hand behind your stick like you should, put your hand right here. You have a little fist. It pops right off your shoulder. All right? Let's pop it off my shoulder. Right here. Right? Or